Welcome back. It's mid-morning on WKYT. Sure glad you're here. The Lexington Fayette County Health Department is joining the U.S. Environmental Protection Agency and the Kentucky Cabinet for Health and Family Services in urging folks to learn more about the dangers of radon. They'll be handing out free radon testing kits. Barrett Sheck with the Environmental Protection Agency is here to tell us all about it. So glad to have you in here. Thanks for, uh, good to be here. Thanks for having me. Uh, for, let's talk about the risk uh, and, and we'll get into what it is and so forth, but what, uh, what, is, the, what is radon? Uh, well, radon is an odorless, invisible, colorless gas, of course. Uh, it's natural. It's from the decay of uranium found naturally in the soil. And as uranium decays, puts off this radon gas that can seep into your home. Uh, say if you have cracks in your foundation or some penetrations, um, and it becomes a risk of uh, lung cancer over an extended period of time. How do you know if you have problems? What do you have to do? A uh, simple answer to that is to test. You know, mm -hmm. uh, a lot of people say, hey, my neighbor has a radon mitigation system in. Does that mean I have radon? Well, not necessarily. Um, each home is different, and the only way to know is to do tests. And if you uh, find your test comes back positive or you have elevated levels, uh, what can be done then? Uh, easy answer there is to fix it. So 4.0 picocuries per liter is the EPA's recommended action level. Uh, so if you come up above that, of course, there's no safe level of radon, but 4 is their guideline. Um, so the next step would be to look into a mitigation company, come out, give you an estimate, and to fix the problem. All right, now you work with the health department. Yes. You're giving out kits. People can also buy kits. How effective are those? Um, they're fairly accurate. I mean, the way it works is you come to our office and get your kit. Mm -hmm. You mail it to directly to the laboratory, and then the laboratory has their deviation, and they'll give you a plus or minus of how accurate their um, testing results are. You know, and you'll hear these uh, commercials and so forth saying that the folks can come check your house out and, and, and deal with it if there is a problem. Are most of those reputable? Yes. So they all um, have to go through a certification process. They get certified and, of course, recommended uh, through the National Radon Proficiency Program. Once they do that, they get put on the list. The list comes to the local health departments, of course, and we will distribute that to anyone who requests it. So if people say to you, well, I've never had a problem with that. I don't need to check, check it. What you say is you may have the problem and not know it. The good news is you can do something about it. Correct. And even people who have tested in the past and have come up with um, low levels that they're mm -hmm. not concerned about, things change in your home. You might develop cracks in your foundation. Um, say you have a basement, you put in um, a restroom, you're creating potential um, penetrations in your foundation where the radon gas can seep in. Well, that's Good interesting. Point. All, All right, right, LexingtonHealthDepartment.org is the, the website uh, for the health department locally, and there's a section on there where you can learn more about it. Thanks mm -hmm. for coming Thank in. Thank you. Really Thank appreciate you. it.